Today, tomorrow is a vegan concept store um, located in the 11th Air des Montes. It has a bunch of cakes and pastries, um, cookies, and a wide ranging menu with burgers and salads and stuff like that. I opted for the fish burger, which was beautiful, and Joseph got the BLT burger. One funny thing about this place is the plates are all kind of chipped. Um, the food is amazing, but the plates are. It just made me laugh how everything was a bit chipped. How is it, babe? Do you like no, it, really babe? Good. It's good? It's good. It's good. Right. It's good um, consistency. And the matcha flavor is good. And then um, in the back of the store, there's this huge area with vegan groceries and little goodies, sauces, ice cream, you know, you name it, they have it. And they also have an entire section for clothing and shoes and accessories and things like that, all vegan. Fiji Patisserie is an all-vegan patisserie located in the 11th Air des Moines as well. Um, and they have a bunch of different pastries, um, croissants, uh, they have flan, and a few savory items. Uh, we didn't try the croissant on camera, but it was absolutely delicious. We also got a pan au chocolat, which was great. So what we got is, this is a pizza, espresso, flan, that jiggles a lot. Tee! Jiggle, jiggle. And then I got a latte with almond milk, macaron, and a sandwich to share. So this has corn, tomato, cucumber, and some sort of vegan mayo. Yeah. You like it? I love it. Yeah? Delicious, yeah. The bread is good too. Super fluffy. The bread is like like a focaccia, I think. Yeah. It's good. I know. It's immediate. No eggs. The freshness. It tastes like custard. Yes. It's crazy. But it's vegan. Wow, that's crazy. That's impressive. I wonder what they use. <laughs> Do your best. It's oh, dropping. No. Yeah, be careful. All right. I barely got any of them. Okay. I'll try again. It's fine. It's super sweet. It's macaron, babe. It's normal. Oh my god. It's like candy. <laughs> when was the last time you had a macaron? I don't know. It's very elegant. <laughs> I've destroyed it. Oh my god. I think so, I haven't had a macaron in like seven years. How is it though? It's not my favorite. The custard. It's is too sweet for you? 
yeah, it's too sweet. But the custard is good on the inside. Yeah, I don't think I like macaroni. Yeah, yeah. Mmm. Can you think it's too sweet? Yeah, you don't think so? Wait, don't try lingerie's macaroni. <laughs> Yeah, even sweeter. I like that you say lingerie with an American accent. It's for listeners, so you know they understand. <laughs> say it with a French accent. La durée. La durée. Yeah, la durée is macaron or even sweeter. Really? <laughs> My hot ride. Come on in. Sol Samia is a restaurant located in the 10th Eredismon. I went with Joseph's siblings for dinner. It kind of focuses on veggies, local food. It was really, really good. And then straight after that, we went to this ice cream place that had a bunch of sorbet flavors. I opted for chocolate and strawberry. So D Witch is actually located straight across the street from Solsimia. We went for lunch the next day. They only have two sandwiches on the menu, one purple and one red, but both were absolutely amazing. I highly recommend. This place kind of gave me like superiority burger vibes. Um, so, so good and everything was really well done. I got a poke bowl. So this is tofu, cucumber, avocado, edamame, and cabbage with rice, if you can see there. Yours is the Napolitan. Can I open it? Yep. Oh, okay. Looks like a standard burger. Yep. They only had two options for us, a poke bowl or burger. So that's what we got. <laughs> the choice was easy. Yes. So for starters, we already started because I forgot to record, but we got a tart with like veggies, salad. Veggie tart of the day, yeah. This is a plantain with cassava and coconut milk. Yeah. And you love plantains. A yep. newly discovered love. It's, it's delicious. Oh, yeah. I never had this. It's so soft. It's yeah. still in your mouth. Oh wow. It is very really good, yeah. Yeah. I wanna make this. It's so good. This is a great start. Okay, so I got the what was it called? The plate? Asit Berber, which is like Arabian, like Middle Eastern plate. Inspired, I suppose, yeah. Yeah, with tofu, seitan, veggies. I don't know what this is. Rice, maybe? And you got the. Uh, Asit Royale. Asit Royale, which is, I don't know, some sort of gratin? Is that. Lasagna? Yeah. I don't know. It, it, it looks like a... Lasagna? Yeah. yeah. Looks delicious! Woo! Chocolate cake! Gâteau chocolat. Mmm, looks amazing. So, tell us about your thoughts about this place. This place is amazing. I mean, like, the cuisine... The cuisine. The food is like... I don't know, I don't know if it's like authentically French, but... It is French. Yeah, it's very like cozy, homey food, good portions. 
everything we had so far is great. The only thing I didn't love was the coconut plantain thing, but... But I guess that's, a, that's enough taste. Because yeah, that's enough taste. I, I liked it a lot. Yeah. And yeah, the seitan was amazing in my dish. And all the components were great. Um, and you also loved it, right, Jesse? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I absolutely loved it. Yeah amazing restaurant and what i'm having is not vegan but it's a tart tatin look at these guys Joseph's oh favorite. my gosh apple pie ah. let's dig in our last meal in paris is finito finite finite, finite. 